Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 3. It's fantastic, Mr. Ghost. Just kind of walking around, checking out the sights here. Looks like we got, like, a monorail bullet train here ripping through. In the past, it was ripping through. Yeah, way out in the middle of nowhere here. It's kind of cool. It just stopped. And it's tracks right right there. CMR. I wonder what that stands for. And I got Agatha playing her violin, which we got to, uh, you know, what uh, got from for her in the last episode in Vault 92, which is a real, real fun time. I really like that mission. Now we're going to do another mission, which is the Oasis. But let's turn off this music here. The Oasis. We'll go to our uh, world map here. It's right up here. I already discovered it. So we'll pop on over. And whoa! Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Oh, all right, Father. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us. And he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. All right, just a minute. Who are you and what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Hmm. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Okay, who's waiting for me inside? Tree Minders. Let's ask him about the Tree Minders. Yeah. Yes, we're the Tree Minders. We're his people. If you'll just follow me inside to the pavilion, all will be explained. Uh, perhaps some other time. No way, you're obviously out of your mind. Uh, yeah, I guess, okay, I'll follow you, Lita. <laughs> Excellent. Please, follow me. All will be explained soon. I wanted to ask him the other question. Let's see, you we got are welcome amongst Maple. us, outsider. <laughs> so Maple, Birch, they're named after tree types. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go on into the oasis. Wow. Trees. Uh, okay. I'm following you, dude. This is some kind of a... Basin of Purification, huh? Alright, um, do I... Do, I you have know. no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Okay, Animal Friend. Alright, cool, we're hitting that one. Never seen any place like this. This place is weird. Where do you plug stuff in? That's funny. Uh, so, I mean, Animal Friend is amazing. This place seems so abundant with animal life. The innocent creatures are drawn here by his gifts. They come from across the wasteland to live in this sanctuary. This part of the world is healing, my friend, and it's all thanks to him. Hmm. Okay. The, w the way you're saying him, I could swear you're referring to a god. Um. Okay. Wish you could just tell me who he is already. <laughs> Can you cut the him crap already and tell me just who he is? Let's do, you do the first one here. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. Okay. Ah, we got a speech check. I may, I may be willing to help, but I need straight answers about who he is. All right, tree minders. I, well, you'll find out about the tree minders here in a second or a minute. All right, I think you're all a bunch of lunatics. All right, speech check. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. Mm. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here. Now we can ask him. Why do you call yourselves the Tree Minders? We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. 
It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. Okay. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Got it. All right, this is kind of, you know, silly to ask this. Oh, if you hate technology, why do you carry weapons? Well, you know, you gotta, you still gotta protect yourself from people who do have them out there. Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. Yep. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Oh, wow. Which brings us to why we're here, I suppose. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Okay, I'd be honored to meet this person. Yes person to hmm. meet him you must undergo the ceremony of purification once that's complete you'll be able to speak to him whenever you're ready we may begin okay uh let's see here hang on you never said anything about a ceremony uh what does the ceremony involve it's simple really you drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion the sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin, and let's begin. Yeah, I don't Hi. know. How are you today? Oh, well, we got Did some your kitties. Spirit rest in his ah, branches. there we go. The Oasis. Okay, everybody's kind of walking around here. Undertake the tree miner ceremony. All right, slurp. You can't use the fountain at this time. Oh. Oh, everybody's kind of hanging around. All right. Okay, now. Ah, okay, drink. Fill with some sort of thick, vicious, viscous sap. All right, drink. Whoa. Whoa. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All okay. this, may oh. he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Aww. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you oh. awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. Okay, looks like we're gonna fade out here. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> okay, completed. Undertake the tree miner ceremony. All right, well, we're here in this area. Aha! I think this is him over here. Is this water radiated? Yep, that's him. Yeah, it's radiated. <laughs> Yep, and there he is. Look at him. Oh, this is so creepy, though. It's the talking tree. Look at this thing. So he's got an arm here. It looks as his arm grew into the ground. And let's talk to him. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stuff. Stupid ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, they eyeball. listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? Yeah, I must be dreaming. Uh, okay, what's this trick? I know there's a guy with a microphone somewhere. <laughs> uh, I must be dreaming. Let's try that one. <sighs> 
I wish I was too. Then me and Herbert could be the best of friends. Herbert? And live side by side. <laughs> He's the tree, you see. We're old pals. The best of buddies. And we know each other. Inside and out. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, his name's really Bob. I think it's funny to call him Herbert. Hmm. But I don't think he thinks it's that funny. <laughs> Herbert and Bob? So you're trapped in there inside this Herbert. I mean, Bob thing? Uh, I'm beginning to suspect you weren't always this way. What the hell are you talking about? So Trimmer said you need any help. Okay, let's... Yeah, so you're trapped in there. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head. Sunk his roots in. Right in there, you know? Well, eventually, he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. Hmm. How did a tree end up growing out of your head? It was a long time ago. I tend to lose track. I was... Exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Yeah, yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. Hmm. Hopefully your troubles won't will be over. I'm here to help. All right. Let's cut the bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to help. You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or we're glad to hear that. Me and Bob. <laughs> I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? Yikes kill you? You can't be serious. Completely serious. You'd be doing me a favor. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now. Rooted right into the ground. <sighs> the only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who <laughs> think I'm a god. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. If I kill you, every tree miner will come after me. Yeah. Oh no, no. Don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. Hmm. Okay. Why don't you just kill yourself? I don't think he can do that, but let's ask him. Now. Yeah. How exactly am I supposed to do that? I can barely move anymore. <laughs> Thanks to Bob. I'm obviously not going to be doing anything for a very long time. Okay. How would I be able to kill you? You're a tree. How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. 
I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Okay. Um, I really don't want to kill you. Can I have some time to think about it? Not charity. You want to die? Cough up some caps. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me do, can I have some time to think about it? Oh, of course. I know this is an unusual request, but hey, I'm an unusual tree, huh? <laughs> well, Bob is, anyway. Yeah. We'll just keep it an open invitation then. I don't want to wait until the next person visits. It could be years. You're all I've got. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Fine. What the hell do I do? Uh, well, goodbye now then, Herbert. Or was it Bob? No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. But I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Okay, his name is Harold now. There we go. Now we got his name. Enter the caves below and destroy Harold's heart. All right, just to give you an idea what this looks like. Holy cripes, man. This is ridiculous. So there, there's a lot of options with this mission here. One, well, let's talk to him first. Let's get this going here. Herbert, she's back. I told you. Okay. <laughs> You're mostly a tree, right? I could just burn you down. Oh, can't I just burn you down? Oh, no, 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 no. Fire would be too painful for me and poor old Bob. Ye keep that stuff away from us. The heart okay. would be just fine, and I won't feel a thing. All right. Some quick questions about those caves. Oh, ooh, look. Optional kill Harold by burning him. Oh, cool. All right. I don't actually seem that... You don't actually seem that sad. Why do you want to die? Let's ask him that. I've been literally rooted to this spot. Thanks to Bob for maybe... 20... Or... 30 years. I can't even remember anymore. Can you imagine being stuck in one place for that long... Not being able to eat, or to read, or to sleep, or anything. Hmm. In the meantime, I have these tree minders bothering me every day about things I don't even care about. And I can't stand it anymore. So he just wants to put out his misery, yep. Uh, life's a gift, even when it lasts a long time. Be glad you have it. Uh, people, if people thought I was a god, I'd exploit it for all it's worth. <laughs> I want to ask him that. Hey, 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 I thought that too. <laughs> At first, I had them sing me songs. I made them do stupid dances and things like that. Bob even told me to make Maple stand on his head for a whole day. <laughs> so this tree living in him talks day. to him. A whole dang day! <laughs> After a while, though, it just gets boring. 
Then it becomes a nuisance, and now it's completely driving me nuts! When I saw you coming towards Oasis, I thought I felt that you'd understand me. Oh. I guess I was wrong. He said I'm wrong, or he was wrong. Seeing me approach Oasis is quite a feat for a living tree. Yeah. That's impossible. Let's see. What, you say you saw me from Oasis, and you call the tree miners crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's try this one here. I'm telling you, it is possible. Or maybe I'm just losing my mind from all this boredom. Hmm. I swear, if I try real hard, I can see all around me. Like, like, like my eyes are in every leaf on every tree. I think it's making Bob kind of jealous. Because he was the first tree in my life and all that. <laughs> Jealousy. Uh, let's see about... Okay, there's these caves, I guess. Um, how is it that you're causing all these things to grow around you? It's kind of embarrassing, really. Once a year, Bob decides he's going to go ahead and, and start growing these weird pods. Filled with tiny seeds. Well, all it takes is a good wind and the seeds just fly everywhere. I call them Herbert Seeds. <laughs> he hates that. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Um, quick questions about those caves. Yeah, I'll leave it to good old Bob to get me stuck above some caves. Now, my, my dang feet are cold. All right, uh, let's see. Is there anything down there to look out for? Sometimes I feel stuff tickling me. But I think that's just Bob getting back at me for all the times I call him Herbert. <laughs> oh, God. All right, how do I get into him? I think the best way for you to get down there would be to get the key from the one those loonies call... Cypress. Oh. There's supposed to be some old gate or something back in the other grove. Oh, okay. Uh, let's ask about something else, I guess. Okay. Well, that's it. Okay. Have to go. Oh, okay. I guess me and Bob will see you again soon. All right. Harold. Wow, that's weird. Okay. So, he doesn't like fire. Guess what I have? Fire. <laughs> so, let's see what happens here. Oh. Oh my god, I feel terrible. Oh, he's in pain. I feel so terrible. <laughs> well, how do I get out of here now? Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, I feel terrible. Well, this is the first of one option. One of many. Let's go out here, and you'll see that uh, they're not going to be happy about this. Prepare for your last moments. Oh, yeah? Let's get a bigger gun out. Oh, come on. Whoa. Here. 
All right. Now, when you do that, every <laughs> all these cripples and stuff, the uh, kid gets taken out of here because they didn't want the kids to, um, you know, be able to get murdered. Uh, so anyway, what? God, all this muck. Oh, they had assault rifles. Holy cow. Now, if we go back in, and I think if we look at the tree, it uh, transforms. Yeah, look at it now. So that is what he looks like after, you know, we have to leave and come back, and then you'll see this poor uh, nightmare. Holy cow. Poor Herbert. So let's go back to uh, past ghost and continue on. All right, don't worry. Herbert's fine. Look, he's all alive. Or Harold. <laughs> so, let's go out and talk to these folks. And there's going to be a couple different options that we have that we can take here. So, we need to find the key to get down into the, um, you know, that place. Uh, Cast aside your bits of technology. Linden. And marvel at his miracles outside. And I'm telling you, oh. you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland. Not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Oh, well, that would be me. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. Okay. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. All right. Um, so, oh boy, he's just a human that had some bad luck. He's not a god, Birch. His name is Harold. Um, let's see here. Maybe we'll answer, do the first one, because it seems a little more bad luck kind of thing, you know? Oh, he's testing you now, oh. just like he tested <laughs> us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry. You'll soon see things as I do. Okay. Did you know your god wants to wants me to kill him? Uh, are you aware that Harold wants to die? Did you know that the crazy tree thing wants me to kill it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you know your god wants me to kill him? Let's call him Harold, because that's who he is. Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. All right. Killing him should stop the influence from spreading. Good. Free firewood for all. Uh, so what can I do to help? If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so he's talking about sap and covering his heart. Um, I can't move. I there. love Birch, but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Okay. Does anybody care what your god thinks? Um, yeah. Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end. But Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. Okay. Um, how can I possibly help? 
I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Hmm. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Okay, so I got the liniment now. And now we have a choice. But I still need the key. Branch tender cypress at your service. Oh, here, Cypress. I found him. May have the key to the caves. Sure. Here you go. Good luck to you. Okay. All right, let's go into the caves and see what's... Uh, so, what I plan on doing is... We'll, we'll see what all the scenarios are. Ooh, there are some creatures down here. Well, I want to, you know, see what the each outcome is. We've got... Kill him. Rev keep him from growing. And then... You know, allow the growth to occur. Aha! Sunken chambers. Well, there it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. So that's his heart. Yeah. Her Harold's heart. And look, there's just Myrlurks all around. Uh, Myrlurks laying eggs and all this. So, the tree has pushed his heart down here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, let's go ahead and see what kind of options we get here. Okay, so, destroy Harold's heart. Apply st sap to stop the growth. And the liniment to accelerate. I, what I want to do, I want to start with the accelerate. Oh, wow. Okay, speak with Leaf Mother Laurel. That's gross. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you out there, and then we'll we'll pick it up from here, because I want to see what the, um, the other way does. All right. So this is... I oh, feel leaf a change in the air. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> Let's talk to her. You've done a great deed this day, my friend. The gifts the Great One has bestowed upon us will now take mere decades to breach the confines of Oasis instead of centuries. Okay. I was glad to do it. Oasis needs to be shared with the world. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak to you before you depart. Hmm. I think you'll find their appreciation quite rewarding. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. I hope your time here has opened your heart as well as it opened your eyes. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk to Harold. Ah, quest completed. So... It looks like you decided to do things their way, huh? How come? Uh, you're kind of a part of their life. Without you, they're lost. I'm not the killing type. You're obviously crazier than they are. <laughs> Why would I listen to you? We'll go with the first option here. So, they really need me that badly, huh? Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. Awfully selfish of me. Should we give him another chance? Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> Herbert. Fine, fine. I mean, Bob. I still think it's funny when I call him Herbert. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, I gotta go now. Come back and visit me sometime. Okay, so apparently we've got some dialogue with these other tree minders. I don't know. It's going to be kind of tricky finding them all. Hello so. again, outsider. Hello again, outsider. I'm very happy to see you again. Oh, okay. Here's Boom Seeker Popular. Popular. Uh, you have a gift for me. I somehow knew 
you'd be the one to make the changes that Leaf Mother Laurel desired. I helped to create the hoods that you see all tree minders wear. It's said that the cloth has a part of the Great One Spirit woven into the fibers. I present this to you as thanks. Wear this with pride and bring the message of renewal to all the corners of the wasteland. Okay. Popular's hood. All right. Ah, uh, it's nice to have the pleasure. Ah, you have a gift for me. I have never known someone to show as much caring as you did towards us. It seems to be rare. That's partly why I never returned to... Allow me to present a piece of my past to you, friend. Perhaps... I got po Whoa! Outcast power armor? Hey! My second best friend in... Yeah, I hear you have a gift for me. Yeah. I think you're pretty swell for someone from out there. I was gonna give this to my bestest friend. This is a charm that my parents gave me for my fifth birthday. It's really neat. Take it. Okay, I got you bear charm. Charm is permanently increased your speech skill by 10. What? Look at this. Big gun strength. Oh, the agility goes down. Rad resist 10. So I have Linden's outcast power armor and Popular's hood. What is this now? Ooh, sneak. So this is similar to Moira. Moira gave me um, the, a hood that had sneak. This is plus 10 with agility. Ooh, I like that. So if you... Popular's hood plus Linden offsets the agility, so it increases your agility with the Popular's hood. And you get big guns and strength. Now it's 21. I got 42. Now if we repair this, it would be higher, of course, because it's less than half. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to uh, past ghost and try out the one where we keep the heart from, you know, growing. All right, past ghost again. Now we have our heart, and we want to stop Harold's growth. Okay. Oh, it. Did. Oh, it, it looks like it slowed it down. Okay. So let's get. We'll uh, go talk. Oh. Speak with fa the father, yeah. Okay, I'll get out of here and we'll talk to him and see what what kind of uh, trinkets maybe we get from him. Oh. There's the father. How you doing? Welcome. You've done a great deed this day, my friend. You've ensured the safety of the Great One and the inhabitants of Oasis. I was glad to do it. Oasis needs to be protected. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak with you before you depart. I think you'll find their appreciation quite rewarding. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. I hope your time here has opened your heart as well as it opened your eyes. All right, cool. All right, so I, I wonder if we get the same reward. You said, oh, okay, so Cypress might have a gift. Here. Please take this relic of my Ooh. older days. Perhaps it will help you on your journey. Okay, a missile. Farewell. So all I get is a missile <laughs> from that guy. All right, let's see if the girl, what the girl gives us. Okay, so we get the speech from her. Still. Okay. Here's Maple. Okay, I got Maple's garb now. All right, let's see what the garb is. Agility and personality. Oh, that's not bad. And DR12. Well, okay, obviously I like this better. <laughs> uh, so, oh, that takes over this. It's only 12. Okay. So the, it looks like, well, hmm. I mean, if you were it's to keep to see you again, Herbert outside. alive, I think the growth one is better because you get um, a good headgear for sneak and you get the gear for a better heavy armor. It's more of a heavy armor. The, keeping him contained is like a light armor build, you know, like for sneak and stealth. All right, let's go to past ghost and uh, end Herbert's life. Oh, oh, wait, activate. Destroy it. Yeah, duh. 
You've been exposed to Harold's mutation, and your skin is now hard as tree bark. What? Oh, look. Ooh, that's gross. Oh, wow. It just splattered. Harold's heart is destroyed. <laughs> it's smiling. Well, let's see what kind of perk that is. All right, it's called Bark Skin. <laughs> oh, look. Look at the character. He's like, his head is, it's a vault boy head, and he's got his arms as tree branches. <laughs> All right. You've been exposed to Harold's mutation, and your skin is now as hard as tree bark. As a result, you've gained a permanent 5% to damage resist. Well, you know what? I think that's the better of them all. I mean, I'm not going to wear the armor at all. And, you know, obviously, kill, you know, killing with fire got you nothing. So that was butt kiss. So bark skin, yeah, we're going with that. All right, I'll meet you outside. We'll see what the uh, these people have to say. All right, let's see what this guy has to say here. I think, uh... Yeah, he's dead. Can't talk to him. He is dead. All right, let's see what the father has to say here. The Great One is dead, slain by your hand. Don't worry, I hold no grudge towards you. You'll have to forgive my people at a time like this, outsider. They aren't used to being so lost. And for once, I don't have the words to help them. Oh, okay. I have to say I'm surprised you aren't angry, angrier with me. Before you reached his heart, he imparted his last words to me. He told me about his will to die and how I mistook this for some mystical sign. How could I have been so blind? How could I have misled all these people? Perhaps if I would have spent more time getting to know him, things would have turned out different. Okay. Well, what will become of the Oasis? Even though the Great One has left us, our memories of him will never die. With Bloomseer Poplar's help, I'm confident we can keep Oasis alive and carry on as tree minders. Go now, outsider. Go, but never forget the gifts the Great One bestowed upon us. Okay. Oh, there is a... Oh, there we go. We completed it. I think there's a Skyrim door here. Um, yeah, here it is right here. Door to damp, ca uh, damp cave. I f I kind of stumbled upon it, but I couldn't find it on my way out the last time here. I'm gonna find the mother girl, mother grandmother, and see what she has to say. And then the the little girl too. Oh, so we still get the bear charm from the girl, even though we killed this guy. Okay. May you. Over. That's good. All over. So that would tell that tells me, you know, you want a fast track coming here. And the only thing is you gotta deal with the Mirelurk kings and the Mirelurks. Hello. So you may not be able to do that on a low, low level. But you get that toughness perk. That is you know, that's a pretty good one to have early on as well. So I think that does it. There's really nothing, you don't gain any, you know, armor or anything like that. But you get the toughness perk and you still get the trinket for speech plus 10. And that's pretty good. That's kind of cool. They got a little bit of greenery here to kind of showcase that, you know, you're kind of walking into a, uh, maybe a green area. Because that's, I'd, I've never seen this green anywhere in the wasteland until now. All right. So I think next episode... What I want to do is close out the Riley's Rangers. That's a tough one. A lot of super mutants. And it's also in a very kind of densely packed area in the DC wasteland. So we'll try and tackle that next time. So I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the completion of the Oasis. A really very interesting take on the... Uh, you know, the Fallout universe. They, it's never been... I've never seen anything like it. Uh, Fallout 4 didn't bring it back or anything like that, so I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I've always really been intrigued by that mission, so... And there's so many different things you could do, too. You can hit them with fire. You get nothing. Butt kiss. You can do either 
you know, suppress his growth or make him grow more. And it seems like the grow more, it gets you better rewards. But I think killing him and putting him out of his misery, because he just can't enjoy life, um, it, it gets you, I think, a better mix, a, a better set of uh, rewards, you know, because you get the speech and then the toughness. So, yeah, I think, you know, destroying his heart so he dies is the way to go on that one, unfortunately. So, yep, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.